the formidable robot. Back in October of 2021, an episode of Mortimer's Manor was found in an antique store, with the item being a VHS tape called, Mortimer's Manor Spooks and Tales. On a different note, the VHS was described as being fan-made and looked in pristine condition. Sounds pretty sus to me. The episodes were from the remaining found episodes. Please mind the graveyard, another dreadful Thanksgiving, the gift, inflatable killer, Cole, snowed in, it's Uwari no Kyoku, aka false memory, and the new episode found, news bulletin. The tagline is, here's a news flash, you're dead. Sounds like an 80s horror movie tagline. Anyways, the episode was made by the same animators who worked on the Robert Zemeckis animated motion capture movies. God, those were unnatural. Luckily, the motion capture wasn't noticeably bad, terrible or completely broken. It moved very fluently and almost smooth. The episode started with a new character. The character's voice sounded like a villain from a horror movie. He was oddly dressed fancily, wearing a suit and wearing glasses. Also, he was shown holding a book. Greetings, I'm Jasper Venton. My cousin Mortimer is on a cruise. Dead Lift Shores is the name of the cruise ship. He won't be joining back until the next season. Jasper started as he got up slowly and paced around. What would have happened if the news you watched had a different broadcast? What would the news anchors do? Find out in the new Tale Mortimer made called News Bulletin. The screen zooms out and follows into a building. This is WBZT off of Miami, Florida, signing off. The news anchor, Arnold said, as the cameras cut. Hey Arnold. One of the directors, Tom said, before asking. We've got the news about the murders off of the pier. You remember the one? Is it Newfield? Arnold asked. Unfortunately, yes. Another murder found. Tom said, showing a pictured mugshot of the killer who looked like a stereotypical Satanist. Jesus, that guy's more fucked in the head than the criminals we've got here. Listen, I'm gonna use the bathroom. Don't do anything stupid till then. Arnold said, as he patted Tom's shoulder and walked out. The weirdest thing happened. The camera stuck on Arnold before cutting to black. Then, it cuts to a point of view shot of Arnold nervously pacing. Something's going on. Where is the weatherman? My friend Tom? Arnold said to one of the directors. I think he said he was running late, probably it. The lights started flickering before the entire studio shook. What's going on? Tom said. One! One damn you! One! Another news anchor shouted, before a knife was plunged into his body. I thought you said this place was protected. Arnold shouted. Don't accuse me. That's safety and security's job, not mine. Tom snapped. Look, let's just run before s The body of Tom stood there. Run. Tom croaked out before slumping down. Arnold ran. He ran as fast as he could. Screams. Loud panic screams echoed the entire studio, with the thuggery of stabbing and gut wrenching splatter sounds. One director had his head smashed. The last shot of the episode shown the studio in a fire, with Arnold standing by a street while bystanders watched the fiery studio. What was that? One bystander asked. Was it the killer? Asked another bystander. Who knows? Arnold said flatly. Sirens were heard before the screen faded to black. Last scene, Jasper was shown standing by the window. He sighs. <sighs> you know, it's funny, sometimes the media spreads lies, but then this story comes in, and shows that some stories shouldn't be fabricated. Jasper set the book in the bookcase before turning to the camera. Well, this'll end this episode for now. Till next time. Stay spooky. <laughs> Jasper cackled before grabbing the camera and stabbing it with a swish noise, loud enough to cause permanent damage to your speakers. It's a known where the tape was. Last of its whereabouts, the bootleg tape was sold on eBay for $12, before the listing and the seller's page went down. To this day, the tape remains lost. Or was it? It was reported that on the exact same day the tape's whereabouts were lost. 
The tape was found in a San Diego storage facility under Facility Number 12, Section A. Accordingly, the storage unit contained old film reels, VHS tapes in small vaults, DVDs containing bootlegged episodes of cartoons and shows, and even USB drives containing prototype drawings and pictures. The pictures were all from Mortimer's Manor, and the others were from other companies. One last detail, each safe contained a card, AON, or AONF, Archival East Oxford National Facility. Who are they? They are best known for collecting and used tapes, DVDs, USB drives and storage drives using tax write-off checks as their use of currency. As of writing this, the series seems to be going on hiatus, or has it?